Skyrim. I have the high ground! You underestimate my power! Don't try it! Alright ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of ASA. Real quick before I get into the video I just want to say that last episode of ASA got 19 likes so I just want to thank you all so very much you know that that was really cool. Um, I know last episode was kind of odd because it was supposed to be like opposite day and everything so um, yeah but uh, anyways let's get straight into the questions starting with Treeman65 and he says I don't know where to put do you like Ikea? Yes, I actually do. Unfortunately, where I live, there isn't any Ikeas. I have no idea why. I guess they just think that it won't drum up enough business to exist um, where I live, so they just don't. But um, something that is cool is when my parents were in Tucson, maybe like two years ago, they actually bought or went to Ikea, and that's where they bought that table that I'm using. Well, I mean, I bought it, but I had them get it for me. Um, so my table is actually from Ikea, but I've never been to an Ikea. So, um, yeah, but I would like to go because it sounds amazing, you know. Um, so anyways, our next question comes from Lego Darth Studios. But first, he says that today is actually his birthday. So happy birthday, Lego Darth Studios. I hope you have a wonderful day. I think it's also EK Starlord's birthday today. So happy birthday, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. And um, so, yeah. Um, but anyways, he says... <laughs> funnily enough he says anyways uh, my question is who is the best or the better duelist yoda miss windu or count dooku well in my personal opinion dooku is the best duelist he's the one that's like the most cocky and like arrogant about it um because is arrogant the right word i don't think so um cocky about it, like the way he like puts his hand behind his back like a fencer um so it's very cool. Like, I, I actually really love Dooku because of his, like, dueling skills. So, in my opinion, Dooku is the best duelist. Um, so, yeah. And then our next question comes from Lil Lego, and she says, Who is your favorite Star Wars character? The former Sif Doth Maul himself. I absolutely love Maul. He is my favorite character in the Clone Wars TV show and in Rebels and... Oh, he's just so cool, and I just, yeah, I just, I love Maul. As you can probably tell, because I put Maul in all my videos, um, it seems. So, yeah. Our next question comes from Jonan, and he says, What is your opinion on the Bad Batch trailer? It is absolutely amazing. I'm so excited for Season 8 of The Clone Wars. I mean, the Bad Batch. It just, it looks so good, and it's going to be so fun, and I can't wait. Um, There's a lot of, like, cool, like, little hidden details and everything, so... um. I'm really, really, really excited. Like, like I can't wait. Because, like, I loved the arc with the Bad Batch. And, I like, when I first watched the arc, I was like, I wouldn't mind watching a show about these guys. And then, boom, we get a show about those guys. So, that's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, our next question comes from Jawa. And he says, what is the earliest you have ever gotten a set? I got the Mandalorian January 2021 um, set two weeks early as you might have seen before you read this. Yes, I did saw it. Saw it. I did saw it. Um, I have seen it and yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, not gonna lie, but, um, I think two weeks as well for me. Um, I got technically, I got the, uh, Microfighter Millennium Falcon two weeks early, but I, um, am not reviewing it until this Friday. So it's like, did I really, I, I do have it. I have proof with the haul video. Um, and, but I've had that set like, earlier than the I made the haul video so but yeah I think two weeks is the earliest I've ever gotten a set um I can't recall though so but yeah that's pretty cool our next question comes from Rusty Bolts and he says what is your favorite lightsaber color hmm Definitely yellow. Yellow is just my absolute favorite lightsaber color. I'm not really sure why because like in real life my favorite color is like cyan, like a bluish like color, kind of like uh, teal. But 
I just, I love yellow lightsabers. I, I, I've always have, and it just, you know, so, um, very cool. Like, I just, I can't get over yellow lightsabers. So, I'm actually going to turn that question around and ask you guys that. What is your favorite lightsaber color? Let me know in the comments down below, as well as asking a question, um, for the next episode of ASA. Anyways, our next question comes from the Rita and Skeeta, and he says, What kind of set would you prefer? Uh, a set like the Darf, the Darf, <laughs> the Death Star, with plenty of figs and features, or a set like the UCS Star Destroyer with amazing display value. So personally, I'm more into play sets. I just prefer sets that you know you can actually like play with, even though I don't play with my sets. Um, and because in my opinion, a lot of the display sets, like 95% of them can actually be displayed and actually look good um, versus a display set. They're typically bigger. So, you know, you want to put them like in a case or something which can cost more or you got to have more space for them. So I just I prefer play sets and the, also because, you know, they're cheaper. Anyways, our next question comes from Bean Bricks and he says, ASA, what set do you think really needs a remake honestly i'm not one to pick i i i know that like there's a million sets like millennium falcons and um x-wings and stuff that seem to be remade too much um but i guess you could never go with clone wars sets right like lego obviously for some reason doesn't understand that the community wants clone wars sets so like a new gunship a new aat uh, or not AAT, we just got one, a new, like, MTT, you know, stuff like that, that would be really cool, but, um, I definitely agree with the LEGO community that a new Slave 1, but based off of, like, Episode 2, so Django Slave 1, um, would be really cool, and so I would like to see that. Our next question comes from EK Starlord, and he says, Are you excited for Spider-Man 3? Truth be told, I didn't even know there was gonna be a Spider-Man 3, so heck yeah, am I excited, that's gonna be cool. And our very last question of the day comes from Esme King, and I'm not going to read all of it because... Well, I can't read! Get out of here! <laughs> he says, what inspired you to start doing uh, LEGO reviews? And then you can pause the video and read the rest if you want. It's a very nice comment, though, so thank you very much, Esme King. Um, so, a lot of different things kind of like inspired me i guess if you will and it's actually pretty cool um so i'm not gonna name any names but i did once help out somebody on youtube that wanted to make videos and she had me um try editing her videos and i was like hey you know what this is actually pretty easy and um i enjoy it. obviously i've gotten a lot better at it um but and so i was like yeah and then i uh, at the same time discovered mnr productions and it was kind of like, hey, I think I could try that. And so I just decided one day, you know what, I'm just going to do it. And I've been doing it ever since. It's been a little over two years now. Um, and I've so far had a lot of fun. So um, very cool. It's kind of a lame story, but also kind of a cool story. So um, yeah, <laughs> I don't really know. Um, but so that's going to do it for today's episode of ASA. So thank you all very much for watching. Remember to comment a question or two for the next episode. Um, I will pin my favorite question to the top and leave a like on the video while you're down there. And don't forget to share this channel, all that fun stuff. Subscribe if you're new around here. I know I'm asking you to do like 800 things. Um, and so anyways, uh, happy new year, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Actually, I'll see you tomorrow because I have a special video coming out tomorrow. So take care and see you tomorrow.